And now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on channel one and ends on channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle-eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious-like. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> Some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand? But Captain, sir! <laughs> Listen here, you may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box and... <laughs> ah! That critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Got you. Demoted to pool boy. But, Captain, sir! Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? Freeloading feed bag. Be <laughs> 
promotion to waiter? Now hold on one ice-picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy? I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a fireworks spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I know I'm being demoted to anchor. Tonight on the planet's stupidest people. Meet a man who swallowed watermelon seeds as a child. Today, they harvest enough melons from his ears to feed a small farming community. Now, back to our number one show, how to train any dog using nothing more than big chunks of very expensive meat. I'm here with Smedley, the world's most renowned dog trainer, who claims he can train any dog to do anything he asks. Yes, ma'am. Allow me to demonstrate my patented positive reward system. <laughs> Little canine friend, how's about I give you a big chunk of very expensive meat? <laughs> but first, can you give me the square root of pi? <laughs> Why, that's doggone astounding! <laughs> Yup, there ain't a smarter critter alive than a well-trained dog. Mm-hmm. After that interview, the world will surely be the path to my doggy door. <laughs> Always remember, dog lovers, a busy dog is a happy dog. <laughs> Fetch, little feller. It's like my Uncle Lucius always said, if you love something, let it go. Cause a good dog will always bring it back. Good dog. Hold on one flea flicking minute. Now you get back here, you little prime rib raider, you. You're no doggy. You're a penguin. Huh? Mm-mm-mm. Now that's just downright cold. Someone should train you to have better manners. But it's not gonna be me. <laughs> it's a well-known fact that dog is man's best friend. As such, he must learn to share the same interests as his master. Take, for example, my deep abiding interest in the art of dance. Uh -oh. This here is a tutu for you, you. <laughs> Dancers are always a little high strung before a performance. Now see here, until you are willing to do as I say, there will be no more rewards. Is that clear as ice? You go on outside and think it over. When you come back, I want to hear music are playing and your jete a swaying. <laughs> uh... 
Atlantic Ocean. That there is music to a dog trainer's ears. Nothing more effective than a well-trained dog to protect your domicile. Go mine the perimeter, and when you return, this here reward has got your name on it, Ace. Yes, sir. With a well-trained guard dog, any home is safe from a penguin break-in. One incorrigible little critter. Huh? We're here for a follow up interview with the world's most famous dog trainer. <laughs> I'm always happy to oblige the media. We hear you're branching out. You've trained dogs and now you plan to train penguins. Is that true? <laughs> it's true, folks. And there's a penguin to prove it. No, I absolutely have not trained this penguin, dog nabbit. No, oh, then we're going to see an exclusive on our program. Think of the ratings. Think of the customers you'll get out of this. <sighs> I guess sometimes you're the alpha dog, and sometimes you're the bone. What's he going to do next, Smedley? Oh, I can't even imagine. Follow him! I guess, left to their own devices, some critters are a whole lot smarter than we ever give them credit for. Woof, 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 wow. What do you think to me, that nobody watches me? Why, cooking with Rufus Ledufus has always been a, how you say, hit show for this station. Listen to this letter from Mr. Sheely Wheely. Dear Rufus, which is moi, please send me all your recipes, ingredients included. Ha! You can't buy a better review for a cooking show. You, 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 what? What's the scoop, boss? What's the scoop? Wheelbear, we have to liven up the show or the bus is going to fire me, you know. Well, like I've been saying, you gotta make more exotic like dishes, Rufus. Crap, Suzette. An idea has hit my fantastic brain. I got to make more exotic like dishes. <laughs> Get me this penguin. We're going to make gumbo. <laughs> Cooking with Rufus Ledufus. I am your humble cooking servant, and today we're going to cook up the most exotic thing that you ever did see. Well, you're not my idea of exotic, but I guess you'll have to do. There you go. We're live at five. Hello there. Uh, welcome to my number one fan, which is you. I got your letter, and uh, welcome to the show, you see. You probably want a nice warm bath after your travels, yes? <laughs> there you go. Now, everybody will be watching the show, no? Come on back here, you little critter! Oof! I am uh, 
I say, cooked in my own jeux. Get back, you little annoying one. I got a show to do. Boss, <laughs> this ain't no jacuzzi show. We're on in five seconds. Then you better find the penguins in, no? No? Yes! Huh? Just get the penguin! <laughs> uh, the water is uh, not quite ready, you see. Uh, so, instead, we're going to prepare a penguin uh, gumbo pie. Yeah, the uh, penguin uh, gumbo pie there uh, requires a delicate balance of spices and lava. So, uh, walk with me to the spice wreck and we'll pick up some loving spices. What do you think? Uh, let me see now here. Uh, we're going to make these ingredients sing like crickets on a muggy Sunday. <laughs> Whatever that is. Google it, Gumbo! The penguin gumbo pie just makes me so, uh, how you say, exciting. <laughs> uh, why don't we take a little break to calm things down, and then we shall pie that penguin up real good, you know? You turned out the lights. Boss, boss! Do you have the penguin? Well, I couldn't find a penguin, but I found an even better kind of exotic animal to live in a show up. What do you think? Uh, hiya, buddy. serve such exotic delicacies as a penguin gumbo pie and penguin gumbo gumbo without the proper uh, table dressing. Uh, while my assistant puts the uh, finishing touches on the pie, I'll show you how to make your party proper with all the delicious trimmings. <laughs> Well, I tell you, nothing says the good life like doilies and the lazy Suzette, no? <laughs> That's why Rufus always recommends... Oh, great googly gumbo! Uh, uh, that is to say, uh, sometimes you just got to throw caution to the wind and... Uh, and you... Oh. And, uh, yes, uh, we'll take a quick break here to clean up. And then it's penguin gumbo pie for all and... Good night. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have you now. <laughs> Boss, I think I found an even exotic animal than the last one. Could it perchance be the penguin? <laughs> oh. I hate seafood. Well, is that no good penguin? Boss, no, please. The show's back on in five seconds. Ah, don't care about the show, Wilbur. Now it is a short down. With Rufus Ladoofus, this is Wilbur. Oh, hello, sir. I, I can explain. You see, what? The switchboard is lit up like a Christmas tree for this? They love the penguin? Wilbur, you go get my recipe book, and we shall find a new way to cook penguin, no? Wilbur, what are you doing? Release me, this is Dante. It's your show now, sir, which means I can't let anything bad happen to you. So, What's today's episode about, boss? Uh, welcome to Cooking with Chili. Today, we will be making crawdad gumbo. Yum. Oh, no, you don't. I am not an ingredient. I am a great chef. I shall return and saute you. You shall see. <laughs> Ha! 
Howdy. I'm Smedley T. Chuckles, world's most amusing amusement park builder. Hee <laughs> joy buzzer. Gets them every time. But enough yucks. I have purchased 99.99% .99 of Antarctica. Why, you ask? Cheap land and lots of it. To build Winter World, the world's most amusing amusement park. Home of the Avalanche, the world's most amusing roller coaster. Your house is right where the Avalanche will roll. So, I'm here to buy your chilly little domicile. Uh, just sign here. <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them. Uh, jokes, not pins. Wow. Hmm, little fella does not seem amused by my generous offer. Yup, this little guy's sure gonna have a lot of liquid assets when I get through. Here's Winter World's gateway to fun and amusement, where our motto is Whoop de doo. most amusing rides. <laughs> you don't just bump into your friends. You bop their cars for big yucks. Sorry, little fella. I know you're anxious for the fun and games, but... <laughs> One belly laughing minute. This fella's chilly reception is really starting to shave my eyes. Fresh snow cones are an important part of any amusement park. Snowball Toss is my own amusing variation on the old shooting gallery game. Huh? If that little guy is asking for trouble, I will happily oblige. I'm definitely not amused by you, you little fun wrecker. Now I got you. Um, help? Well, how humiliate a target in my own amusing arcade? <laughs> if this little guy wants a snowball war, I am just the joker to give it to him. There is more than one way to knock down an igloo. <laughs> the Avalanche Roller Coaster is ready and fully amusing. You know what? I honestly do not believe this is a gift to celebrate the opening of my park. Mama 
always said, it's more amusing to give than to receive. stronger than he looks. <laughs> Go on, then. Kate the Eggloo. World's most amusing amusement park king, surrenders. Quits. Gives up. It's over. Goodbye. Farewell. And do not follow me. Thank <laughs> you.